Let's catch up with our friend Susie, uh, the diva of love, a life empowerment coach who gives and gives and gives of herself three times each week on this show with great tips uh, to move yourself forward in every aspect of your life. And I love she already you know, she sends me these little previews of what we're going to talk about. Uh, and I love this. I, you know, right off the bat, we haven't even had the conversation. I'm already like, yep, slam dunk. Why are you not achieving your goals? Let's dive in. Hi, Susie. Hi, John. Uh, why you're not achieving your goals? I mean, we all have goals. And more often than not, we we kind of get demotivated and we don't achieve them. And we're just like, okay, forget it. We're not yeah. going to. And far, far uh, too often, that's me. Far too often. I do that too. I mean, it's normal. Um, we often make the mistake, though, of creating goals that are too big. And we get unmotivated when we don't reach those goals. So instead of making your big goal, um, make it an umbrella, right? Or an overarching one and set smaller goals underneath like rungs of a ladder. So, you know, my big goal is to get in shape. Well, I'm not going to put my, my main goal to lose a hundred pounds. Let's just say I'm going to make little goals. You know, I'm going to, go to the gym every second day and do half an hour. I I'm going to eat healthier, you know, things like that. Little goals that will achieve the big goal, but I don't just look at it in the big picture. We have to look at it in the, in the little goals because we often set the wrong types of goals, you know, and that's a big, um, that's a big problem. And, and I've noticed with my clients, uh, with me personally, Pairing those down makes the world of difference and the type of goals you do as well. So all your goals should be specific. You've heard of smart goals, you know, specific mm -hmm. or simple. They should be measurable, like get a time frame or a number. Uh, so it makes them more meaningful, uh, achievable. So it's something that's attainable. Like I, I'm not going to put my goal as I'm going to run a marathon next week, you know, Obviously not. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> Relevant, obviously, has to be realistic and time bound. You know, uh, each day or by next week, I'm going to do 10 minutes of whatever, you know. You know, a good analogy for someone like me is a football game. I mean, you don't walk out onto the field and the objective is this play right now, it's touchdown. Unless, it's, of course, it's the end of the game and it's do or die. The objective is 10 yards at a time. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, every 10 yards, you get another set of downs, which moves you closer to your ultimate goal, as you said, the overarching umbrella goal, which is, yeah, let's get in the end zone and score six points. Yeah, exactly. You know, and when you make the right goals, then more often than not, you're going to be successful because you've set yourself up for success by taking all things into consideration. Um, and when you achieve a goal, you feel good about it, right? You know, I, I made a goal to walk five minutes every day and I achieved it by the end of the week. Wow, I did it. I feel good. Now I'm motivated to do more. If I didn't achieve it, if I said I was going to run for an hour every day and I didn't achieve it, well, forget it. I'm not going to exercise, you know? <laughs> so, right. You're always right. I love these conversations. So uh, another, another thing is we don't plan, right? Planning your path and preparing yourself in advance for obstacles helps you jump those hurdles more effectively rather than tripping over them. So again, it's setting yourself up for success. So um, a hurdle might be, I won't be able to get to the gym on the days that I need to pick up my kids from school. Right. So what can I do to mitigate that? Right. Um, also consider the personal sacrifices that will be necessary. And if you're willing to endure them, like giving up chips for me, no. um, that's a personal sacrifice. I'm going to have to, make to reach my goal, you know? <laughs> but things like that, you know, uh, think of it. Are you willing to put in the work? Are you willing to do what it takes? Um, and a lot of people don't think the big pick, don't think of all these things. Don't think of, they think only of the, okay, I want to lose a hundred pounds. Right. Well, I want to find love. I want to find a new job. Okay. But what are you going to do to get there? You know? Thank and you for that reminder because I'm so guilty of that, Susie. I, I get focused. You were about to say big picture. I heard it coming out of your mouth just as I was thinking it. Um, I get so focused on that big picture that when I, it, you know, when it doesn't happen for me, I get frustrated. I get down on myself. But you're right. What I'm not doing 
is setting up all the steps to that success, yeah. and focusing on those little baby steps. Thank you for the reminder. All right, a post-it note. You always leave us with a great post-it note. What's this one for this conversation? I think I already know, but. <laughs> I will set myself up for success. I had a feeling. All right, and you are available uh, for one-on-one -on -one coaching. You've also got a great empowerment journal that people can download for free. How do they connect with you? tvavlove.com.